Hello, Triple Promise students, and welcome to the cast. I am so, so excited about working with every single one of you. I know this is going to be an amazing, amazing show, and I can't wait to get started. Our first rehearsal is this Saturday at 2.30 at the same dance studio where you audition, so I will see you all there. For those of you who are just in the, Yertle, the Turtle cast, that's the four to six-year-olds, you are there from 2.30 to 3.30. And for those of you who are in Lorax, you are there from 2.30 to 4.45. If you are in my 1 p.m. acting class, I will continue to see you at 1 p.m. And it's a good idea for you to bring a snack to eat between two o'clock when class ends and 2.30 when rehearsal begins. If you can, any snacks that, in fact, everyone should pack a snack whether you're in the class or not, because we will take snack breaks. But parents, if you could help by making sure that you pack snacks that are easy to eat on the go and that don't require a lot of help or assistance because it's just me. So I don't have a lot of people to help with set up and clean up. So no full meals. If you could send things that are easy for kids to open, like granola bars, fruit snacks, things like that, that don't make a lot of mess that they won't need a lot of assistance with. I'd be so, so grateful. And please make sure you put your child's name on their snacks or anything else that they bring just so things don't get lost. A couple of ground rules I just want to go over with everybody. So when you arrive at the dance studio, I want to remind everyone that Brooklyn Dance Centers, which is our our host, I am renting space, Triple Promise is renting space from Brooklyn Dance Centers. They do not allow street shoes on the studio floors because those are finished wood and they're sprung floors. So you are welcome to wear dance shoes if you have them, which means ballet shoes or jazz shoes, or you can just go barefoot or you can wear socks, whatever you are comfortable with. And other than that, just be comfortable, wear clothes that are comfortable that you can dance and move around in. So there's no other dress code other than that, just be comfortable. When you arrive, you are going to see lily pads that look something like this in lots of different colors, and they are going to be spread out all over the floor. I would like everybody to find a lily pad for our first rehearsal and have a seat on that lily pad. A couple of things that we need to talk about about the studio. I know that when you get into a dance studio, the floor is really shiny and it's freshly waxed and it's so much fun to run around and slide or to spin as fast as you can and see how quick how quickly you can keep spinning on your sock feet on that slick, shiny floor. But those things are really, really, really fun until somebody gets hurt. So even though I know those things seem fun, those things are a really, really bad way to get injured or to injure someone else. So please, 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 no running around in the dance studio, no running and sliding, no spinning around uncontrolled. You could slam into the mirror and cut yourself on the glass or you could hit somebody else. So we just really want to make sure that we're keeping everybody safe. So make sure that we're not running around. No horseplay, no rough housing, things like that. If you don't know what horseplay and rough housing are, ask your mom or dad. They will explain it to you. We want to make sure that everyone is respecting everyone's personal space. That means that when you're in the dance studio, you're not grabbing onto each other or getting really, really close. We we still, you know, we are still in COVID, so we want to make sure that we respect each other's personal space. I recommend everybody be an arm's distance apart from each other like this so that we can all have room to move in a way that doesn't impede anyone else's movement. So please make sure that you keep your hands and your feet to yourselves at all times so that we're really safe and make sure that your movement is controlled. So no running around and flailing. You might be doing this because it just seems like a fun, silly thing to do, but you, when you do that, you may not realize there's somebody walking by and you just whack them in the head. So we want to make sure everybody's safe. So we want to have control over our bodies. And that's also a really important skill to know as an actor and a dancer and a performer as well. You have to have control control over your body because your body is how you express your characters. So we're going to start practicing that right from the very, very beginning with having very controlled movement and not running around acting crazy. Okay. One mic. We have a one mic rule. That means that one person speaks at a time and we all listen when each other speaks. This is not just for rehearsal etiquette, but also for the show. So when someone else has a line on stage, everyone else is listening to it because your character needs to hear the line and your character needs to react to the line. And we'll talk about that more in rehearsal, but that's something called acting is reacting. You'll hear me say that a lot. So when someone else has a line, you can't be pss, 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 pss. 
You have to be listening and <gasps> reacting or <gasps> reacting or <gasps> reacting, whatever the reaction is. And you can't do that reaction if you're not listening. So we really have to make sure that we listen when, uh, when other, someone else is speaking. Um, please label everything that you bring to the dance studio. So please bring a, a water bottle each week. Please bring a snack. It's good to keep that in a bag, but make sure your name is on your bag. Make sure your name is on your water bottle. Make sure your name is on your snack. That will prevent things from getting lost. And it will also prevent things from, from germs from spreading. So please, please, please label everything, especially as we get close to showtime when I ask everybody to bring in an undershirt for their costume and everybody's undershirt starts to look the same. It's who knows whose undershirt is whose, who knows whose sneakers are whose or sh shoes are whose. So it just is really, really helpful to have labels on everything so we don't get things mixed up so we don't spread germs. And really, really important, label, label, label. And if it's not yours, please don't touch it. During rehearsal, you are going to have three different types of rehearsal. So you're going to have music rehearsal, which is where we learn the singing part of the show. You're going to have choreography rehearsal, which is where we learn the dancing part of the show. And you're going to have blocking and scene work, which is where you learn the acting part of the show. Blocking is your entrances and exits. It is the movement that happens on stage that involves traveling across the stage. Business is character movement that happens in place. So for example, entering from stage left and crossing over to the right side of the stage and speaking to another character, that's blocking. But if, for example, your character were to sip a cup of tea or shuffle a deck of cards, that's called business. So we're going to do both of those types of movement. And then finally, the other part of the acting is the scene work. The scene work is the expression, the animation, the energy, the emotion, the commitment, the tone, the body language, not just knowing what to say, but knowing how to say it. Those are all the things that make an actor a really, really great actor. So those are the things we're going to be working on during rehearsal and you will all have a little bit of homework to do outside of rehearsal. So the things that you can help with to make rehearsals run more smoothly is to make sure you're on top of the homework by memorizing your lines. That's really, really important. Also memorizing your cue line. Your cue line is the line that comes before your line. So it's really important. A lot of times students will come in and they'll have all their lines memorized, which is great, but they don't have the cue line memorized. So now they know what to say, but they don't know when to say it. So having the cue line and the line memorized are really, really, really important. And I will give you some tips on how to do that. If you don't know, if you don't know tips and tricks for line memorization, I will talk about that in another video. Also, the other part of your homework is to practice your singing with the vocal tracks that I sent to you and practice with the karaoke tracks. So practice with the vocal tutorial track until you really have it down and then try to sing it by yourself with the karaoke track and see if you can do it on your own. That's really important. And then the third part of your homework will be to practice the dancing with the choreography videos that I'm going to send you. So we'll be choreographing it in rehearsal and then I will send you a video of that choreography for you to continue practicing on your own at home. The practice at home is super, super, super important because that's what's going to really solidify all the things that you need to do for the show into what's called your muscle memory. And if you don't know what muscle memory is, we will talk about that in rehearsal as well. But basically muscle memory means when your body remembers to do something without you having to think about it. That's what it means. So if you guys can do all of those things at home, we're going to have an amazing time in rehearsal and we're going to have an amazing show. And to make sure that we streamline all of that, I will be setting up a Google Classroom. If you've never had a Google Classroom before, I'm sure most of you have had one in school. If you don't know what a Google Classroom is, don't worry, I will show you. But basically what it is, it's basically a web page that's connected to your email or your mom or dad's email. And you can go into that email and go into that web page and you can see all of the things that we need to look at for rehearsal. So the choreography videos will be posted there. The scripts will be posted there. So if you need to practice your lines and you forgot your script or whatever, all of that stuff will be in there. On Saturday, you will be receiving a hard copy of the script. That means a paper copy. I already emailed everyone an electronic copy. So before Saturday, please, please, please try to read through the script and listen to the music so that when you come in on Saturday for our first rehearsal, you are at least familiar with the material. 
And that's about it. I can't wait to get started working with every single one of you. You are an amazing, incredible, beautiful cast of people. And I know this is going to be an amazing show. And I really can't wait to get started working with you. I know you're going to have an amazing show. And you're going to become lifelong friends with each other. And it's going to be a wonderful experience. If you have any questions, you can shoot me an email. Or you can save them for Saturday. And I'll see you then.